Hey guys, look how cute these curls are. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to get these simple cute curls using the curl sponge. We're going to be starting off on freshly washed hair. And if you guys are not familiar with this sponge, it is a super easy, awesome product to help you produce curls really quickly on the go. And one of the things I love about the sponge is that it's simple. And if you have trouble getting your hair looking curly and sweet and cute, then this is a product for you. So I'm starting off on freshly washed hair and I'm going to be picking out my hair just to get the tangles out. My hair is still damp and one of the first things that I do on a damp hair is adding a hair oil. Okay, so because someone needs to use the bathroom, I'm just going to be blocking them out. Okay, so now that we are doing that, uh, picking out our hair, we're going to be adding a oil. So what I love to do is use a oil immediately after coming out of the shower. And that is just going to make sure to maintain my hair soft. Right now I'm using a castor oil mix. I have low porosity hair. Some people may feel that using castor oil on low porosity is not ideal because of the thickness, but this has been diluted with grapeseed oil as well as some herbal oil mixture. Okay, so now that I am going to add my mixture on a damp hair, I'm also going to apply a little bit of the oil to my scalp because at the moment I'm dealing with super dry scalp. Okay, so I like to do an oil bath right after I wash and condition my hair. So now that we have that on our hair, I'm going to be using a leave-in conditioner just like this one. Everything that I'm going to be using, I'm going to be leaving it in the description box below. So now that I have my leave-in conditioner on, I'm going to be sealing in that moisture with a hair butter. And I'm going to apply that on just to seal in the moisture and to help uh, put a barrier onto my hair when I put the styling product on. So we're doing everything here on damp hair. And now that I'm through with that, I'm going to be detangling my hair again. And I'm going to get ready to add my styling product. The styling product that I'm about to use is this one. It's my favorite hair mousse. It's really nice. I like it. It doesn't have any alcohol in it. And I'm going to be using the curl sponge. This is a wizard sponge that I'm going to be using for applying the curls. Now, I already made a video on how I use my fingers to produce similar looking curls. If you guys would like to see that video, you can check that up in the cards above. So I'm going to apply some of the mousse on my hair just like so. You guys can use whatever styling product. I'm choosing a mousse. You can use gel and you can produce similar curls but I prefer using the mousse because it's easier and it's less messy when it comes to how the application process goes. Okay, now that I have that on my hair, we're going to now start to use the brush to define the curls. Now, I encourage you to do it just like how you see I'm applying it there, trying to do it in one circular motion going into one direction. Now, that's a pro tip because if you try using both hands at different times, you may get the curl pattern going different ways 
on different sides of your head, which is not recommended. So what we're going to do is just to continue going in a circular motion using one hand, just like what you see I'm doing here. And you're going to apply a little bit of pressure while producing or going in a circular motion. If you guys have already tried this sponge, let me know in the comments, how did you like it? Was it good or you prefer using something else? So a tip that I have for you is that make sure you're using the same circular motion around your head because you might be tempted to use this, your left hand, and then you start going in a different direction. So I encourage you to use one hand in the same direction all the time. So it is super, super simple to use this sponge to produce curls. It is a styling tool that you can use when you're in a hurry. I encourage you to get one. And this is the final look. Let me know in the comments how I did with my curls, how you liking how the curls look. And if you haven't already, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Remember to share it with your friends and family. Remember to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.